So I've got a couple of questions about how to find your point of aim at various distances when using the gap aiming method. In other words, how do you find your gap at, at a given distance? This episode of Field Tips is brought to you by Orion Coolers. I've been using these coolers for a little over a year now and absolutely love them. They're tough as nails, innovative, and they'll hold ice forever. Orion, never lose your cool. So what we're gonna do is I've got a pine cone sitting at the bottom, right at the base of this target here. Now, I'm gonna shoot point on at every distance that I shoot from. Now, what I mean by that is I'm standing at 20 yards. I'm gonna put my point right on that pine cone. I'm gonna move up to 15. I'm gonna put my point on the pine cone. 10, I'm gonna do the same thing. And five, I'm gonna do the same thing. Now, what that's gonna cause is it's gonna cause my arrow to strike above um, the pine cone there, which is my intended uh, where I'm aiming at. Now, how far above that, that is what your gap is at that given distance. So, so point on at 20 yards. My arrow should strike about 12 to 14 inches above that pine cone. Shot a little left that time. You didn't see that. Good shot. So this pine cone right here is where my point was. And you can see that my hand there spans about eight inches. So. Uh, my group here is about 12 inches above where my point was. So my gap at 20 yards is about 12 inches. Now we'll move up to 15. So we're gonna move to 15. And what you should see if I can hit anything, is that my gap really isn't all that different at 15. Maybe just slightly higher, but really not all that much. Okay, 10 yards. Maybe a little, little lower than the 15 but still not all that different now you're gonna see a pretty big difference at five and here's the gap at five yards so you can see that's about eight inches or so seven eight inches my gap at 10 yards is about 12 my gap at 15 is about 14 my gap at 20 is 12 and if i move to 25 it goes back to about eight inches and then if i move back a little bit farther to about 28 that's going to be my point on distance and that's a quick and easy way to find your gap at various distances. That's how it's done. Lost one of my finger stalls so I'm having to shoot with a tab.
Gotta give a shout out to Johnny Cupcake. Peace out.